hi everyone welcome back to the new video today in this video we'll be looking into two concepts or metrics so to say that you'll often find being mentioned in the papers where you're talking about mission retrieval or re-ranking or essentially wherever you have a list and you have some sort of implicit notion of what is better compared to the other elements in the list you'll find these metrics to be reported so we'll be talking about two of them one is precision at k and second is recall at k i mean these are pretty simple metrics to calculate and report however they have their own limitations which we'll talk about as we go forward in the video and for those reasons people often go towards a little more sophisticated metrics like ndcg mrr and others okay so let's try and understand both of these metrics in terms of information retrieval or retrieve list from any system so let's say if these are top five elements that you return for a given query queue let's give them their indexes one two three four five of which the relevant ones are this this and this these three are the only relevant ones that belong to the set of five now if you have to report precision at k let's say the value of k is three which means you are just choosing top three elements in that list and trying to calculate precision for them precision at three is nothing but the base is three because you are essentially returning three elements for which you are calculating things of which how many of them are relevant two so two by three is the precision at k now if you recalculate it for let's say five then you have three by five because now you have one two and four which are relevant which makes up the denominator and remaining since you are talking about five elements so the denominator is five so that is what is precision at k i mean of how many of the total items you return how many of them are really relevant for the user so that's the exact definition a cool thing to notice over here is if i have let's say these five results that i return where one two three four and five now if i calculate precision at three and the relevant ones were one two and four the value of this is still 2 by 3 because 1 is there and 2 is there in the top 3 list. However, if you notice these top 3 look different from what these top 3 look like. And that's one of the limitation. I mean, precision and recall at K essentially don't consider the order of these elements. Rather, the focus is mostly to see if the system is good enough to recommend whatever items are required. Regardless of the order in which they should occur in the list. That is where you have normalized discounted cumulative gains that consider the order you have relevance ranking that considers the relevance or the order in which the elements are occurring so yeah that was one of the limitations and this is what precision at k is and is calculated let's look into recall at k so let's add in one more example which is the sixth result and that was let's say relevant so recall at three is calculated as total number of relevant results in the entire data sets which is 1, 2, 4 and 6th index which is total 4 elements of how many of them were you able to pick in top 3 so we were able to pick only 2 elements so that makes it 0.5 as the recall at 3 whereas the precision is still the same right regardless of we have added one more sample which is a 6th element the precision just focuses on top 3 elements to be in the base and how many of them are relevant only 2 of them so that makes it 0.6 cool so let's extend it to let's say recall at five so that is total relevant items are still four which is one two fourth and sixth index in top five we have covered three of them so that's the recall at five whereas the precision at five is still the same as earlier which is we're talking about only five elements of which three are relevant and again if you observe closely whether it be precision or recall both of them don't consider the order while making these calculations. So if that is important for you, then you'll have to switch to better metrics. One more thing to notice over here is like, for example, they are sensitive to total number of relevant items, which means if you have a list of one, two, three, four items, or let's say make it five, and only two of them are relevant, which is let's say first two, you increase the value of K, which is you return more and more results. Precision at K will essentially decrease because now the numerator can only have two whereas the denominator can keep on increasing. So that way you have already surpassed the maximum achievable limit for precision at k, which was at k is equal to two. That would have made it two by two, which is one. 
so yeah it, i mean it's sensitive to how many elements are really relevant what's the value of k which is how many results do you return and calculate your precision against so all these factors also you'll have to take into consideration when you look at the numbers that get calculated by it and same is the scenario for recall so now if you calculate recall at 3 you'll have 3 by 5 so that's still not a perfect number because your value of k is less so then you'll have to go about increasing value of k to make recall look little more desirable so yeah those are the limitations that you'll need to consider when you report precision and recall for the top k elements so yes that was it for the video so these were pretty simple two concepts that you should know before you move on to the advanced matrix like ndcg and mrr and in case you are interested to learn more about ndcg and mrr i have two videos created on this channel i'll link those in the description and i button make sure to check them out in the meantime subscribe to the channel to don't miss out any further content that comes up in the following week i'll meet you in the next one bye bye and take care